Hi and welcome to the video training of navigation timing API using JavaScript. Thanks to developer.mozilla.org. The navigation timing API provides data that can be used to measure the performance of a website. Unlike JavaScript based libraries that have historically been used to collect similar information, the navigation timing API can be much more accurate and reliable. Okay, you can use the navigation timing API to gather in performance data on the client side, which you can then transmit to a server using XML HTTP request or other techniques such as AJAX. This API lets you measure data that was previously difficult to obtain, such as the amount of time needed to unload the previous page. How long domain lookups take the total time spent executing the windows load handler and so forth now let's look at some examples calculate the total page load time to compute the total amount of time it took to load the page you can use the following code window dot performance timing returns the data and then you can use that variable with further property load event end and navigation start and this subtracts and gives you the page load time and then you can also calculate request response time you can calculate the time elapsed between the beginning of a request and the completion of getting the response using code like this perf data dot response end minus perf data dot request start I have already written this code here and you can download it from my github repository which have, I have included in the this video description so just save this and try this here okay if I go to console see a syntax on line 14 okay let's comment these two lines uh, these two lines let's comment that save it and run it again in the browser and let's see what we get so we get the performance time and it gives you every detail when the connection started when it ended the lookup the domain lookup how long it took fetch start fetch end you have all the details that you wanted here and this number five is basically the connection time the connect time let's enable this let's see if our script still works it says invalid or unexpected token so there is some uh, issue here in this DOM complete okay if we run this these two variables perf dot data complete and perf dot data DOM loading and console log we can see we have those values so maybe the issue here is the render time vision uh, and we can try this here as like parse int parse int let's try this let's see if this works save this file run it again valid or unexpected token so the issue is still here somewhere and it's with the data being returned from these two functions so if I console this out, okay that's done so you can further explore this API on your own and you can find out how much time it's taking from sending a request to the server and receiving the up and receiving the response DOM loading constant variable thanks for watching this video please do subscribe to my channel if you like this video you can reach me if you need any assistance I'll be more than happy to reply back thanks